Am I the arsehole? For ruining my sister's gender reveal? Throw away for privacy reasons, also fake names. TW miscarriage. I am going to keep this light on details to avoid being identified so if I left anything out I'll try to answer. Background I have a sister Layla. Both me and Layla are married, I to Pam and Layla to Greg. Me and my sister had a grandma who sadly passed away when we were in high school. Since we are both married and both plan on having kids, the topic of names came up and we both said we wanted to name a child after our grandma, let's say her name was Victoria. We didn't really fight about this per se and just agreed whoever had a daughter first could use the name. About a year ago Pam got pregnant which was very exciting. We found out it was a girl and did a gender reveal where we announced we were going to use the name Victoria. My sister was not upset about this and jokingly said something along the lines of you beat me to the punch. A few weeks after this my sister announced that she was pregnant. ETA I think people may be confused about this and this is my fault for using the wrong words. When I say miscarried, my wife gave birth to a stillborn. While our daughter was never alive, my wife gave birth to her, it was just too early for the baby to live sadly. Our daughter is buried in a grave that says Victoria, which I think is part of the reason I was so upset. Not the asshole. Your wife gave birth to your child, a stillborn, who you named Victoria, and then buried. You lost your child. I am so sorry. Your sister saying I'll take your dead baby's name cause you're not using it is vile. F her. Not the asshole. I would edit your post to say trigger warning stillbirth not miscarriage. That makes a huge difference. This child was born and has a grave with her name on it. I'm so 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 sorry for your loss. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but has your sister ever visited your baby's grave? Seeing the name Victoria on the headstone may knock some sense into your sister's head. Not the asshole, though you don't deserve to be a mother was a bit harsh. Your daughter is named Victoria, and sis should realize that she isn't using an unused name but naming her daughter the name of her dead cousin. While, technically, she has every right to do that, it's morbid and sad and it will mean that their daughter will never have a good relationship with you and Pam and any future cousins she may have. Nope not an R. It was very selfish of your sister to drop a bomb like that. Your sister should have approached you and your wife and asked how you felt about it. Seeing the sign was like reliving the fact your baby died. Your family is being very cruel to you and your wife. Frankly it is very thoughtless of your sister and your grandma would be very disappointed in your family. Take care of your wife and yourself, allow yourself to grieve. Not the asshole my cousin had a stillbirth and named the baby after our great grandmother. If anyone from our generation tried using that name, the rest of us would lose our shit. Not the asshole. As someone who has had a stillborn, it's incredibly traumatic. Your sister is off her rocker thinking that she can name her daughter after her niece. I'm sorry for your loss. It does get easier, but it always gets harder first. I think this is the first time that I'm not going to say, no one owns a name. I cannot fathom the cruelty or naivety that possesses your sister. May your Victoria rest in peace. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your sister knew what she was doing, she just didn't care. I would cut them out, if they were my family. I wouldn't be able to be around someone who named their daughter after one I gave birth to and had to say goodbye to. Not the asshole no one can claim a name, but this is pretty awful. While there is also no issue with cousins sharing a treasured family member's name your sister has no compassion. Your little Victoria has only just been lost. She was a proper little baby that did not get to join us in this world. If using the name was that important to her she could have pulled you both aside for a quiet discussion on why and warned you to avoid the baby shower. Instead, she made it all about herself and f anyone else's feelings. Not the asshole, I lost a child a few days after birth and I would never speak to a family member who used their name, especially so close to the loss. 
First of I am so sorry for your loss. Not the asshole and I am sickened by the cruelty of your mom and sister. Not the asshole, especially as a woman who gave birth and lost two infant within hours of delivery. I'd lose my fucking mind. I'm sorry for your loss. Not the asshole your sister should have as a minimum had a discussion with you. She shouldn't have used the name. Not the asshole. She definitely should have warned you at least. That's incredibly hurtful of her. I am just here to extend my condolences for your loss, sending love white light, or whatever gives you some peace. A stillbirth is something no one should have to endure. Not the asshole personally, I'd never be able to have a relationship with my sister again. Even on the off chance she changes the name, she still chose to do that. Absolutely vile person. How you chose to continue the relationship is your choice and your wife's choice, but I hope you don't feel pressure to interact before you're ready. Not the asshole. You buried Victoria. It's more than a name, it was your child. How does she not see how callous this is? And you didn't ruin a damn thing. Not the asshole. While ownership of names is tricky to work around in this sort of situation, Layla should have talked with you and Pam first before going ahead with the name choice. I understand that it's both your grandma's name, but given the circumstances, she shouldn't have gone behind your backs and claimed, well, it's not like you're using it. Absolutely disrespectful on your sister's part. If it was a miscarriage, maybe, but still born? Not the asshole. Your sister is indeed being very cruel, as said she is using her daughter's death cousin name. I'm so sorry. Not the asshole. I had buried my son years ago when I was 19 years old, and my sister just had her son recently and she messaged me before she and her boyfriend chose my nephew's name because she wanted to make sure I would be okay with her using the same name as it has family ties to her boyfriend. She said that she named him after his older angel cousin, and great grandpa. So no definitely not the R but saying she would be a bad mom was our move. Not the asshole what your sister did was cruel. So is your parents. It may be times to go no contact. To name a child that knowing your daughter's name was that's. Yeah that's horrific, not the asshole. Absolutely vile. Not the asshole. That is insane. How does your sister expect you or your wife to ever be around her or her child again? For the record, I probably would not be. That is insensitive and borderline unhinged. Not the asshole, while you all may not have had the opportunity to know Victoria, the love and bond you had is real, and it is so insensitive for lack of a better word because it's so much worse than just being insensitive for them to do all this. Not the asshole. Your daughter's name is Victoria, and it's so gross she's using the name. Not the asshole. Your sister is Toe. How thoughtless and cruel of her to do this. To be so causal about the loss of your daughter and not discuss the naming thing beforehand. I'm so sorry for you loss. Tell your mom she is also an R for the way she's behaving. I'm sorry but just because a baby has passed doesn't mean it's a free for all in the names department.